So today we're gonna be looking at common sense media reviews. Welcome to the Chem Zone. Yeah, it's it's this website where parents and kids come together to review programs and games and, and websites and songs and pretty much any form of consumable media. And today we're gonna be talking about Discord, which you know over here is still called Chat for Gamers. They gotta update that because they did a rebrand. But anyways, we got all these parents reviews, the kids reviews. We're gonna see the contrast between them and all the accusations that are happening in these. So so, uh, let's take a look at the very first one. Seems very reasonable. This app is reportedly easy to use. It is 13 plus to the Discord TOS requiring all users to be 13 plus, just like almost any other account. NSFW is monitored by the Discord staff. It is almost impossible for anyone to find you as all friend requesting your special ID number along with your username. You can block, leave and set specific privacy settings to control what you see and hear. If you do not wish to take a part in some activities, it is easy to get out of it. Swearing can be monitored by the group's administrators or bots with that swearing that are added by the server owners. Discord is safer than Skype by server standards. And it is also harder to find someone on Discord than Skype, therefore making it one of the best sad programs that is so wrong on so many fucking <laughs> levels. Well, I talk like this now while I talk about the age of consent. Seriously, poor protection for children. Firstly, let's dispel the myth that your child here is safe as they can block people and only be found by people they choose to link with. They meet these people on games who befriend them there, and from there, send them to Discord groups and invites, therefore bypassing the invite system. My child has gotten involved with a group who are far beyond the realms of any decency. That's the average Discord server, yeah. And the conversations people were having with my 14-year-old that made me sick. I'm just glad that I have found out in time to try and prevent any further psychological problems. He has been slowly groomed, and I guess it could have been only a matter of time before something dangerous happen. I would seriously not recommend this to any child or parent until they get some sort of filters and security in place to stop people from creating and running these sort of perverted and deviant group. I'm really upset for the psychological damage that, you know, these Discord users have caused. I get psychological damage simply by opening the fucking program. Check this username, United Kingdom Dad. Of course, I'm fucking gold. Okay, I think I found a review that pretty much summarizes Discord very, very well. Don't ever use Discord if you're a kid. As someone who used Discord, it can absolutely ruin you as a kid. I've lost my innocence, my self-esteem, and a lot more. Use with absolute caution. Alright, well those were the Discord reviews. Now let's take a look at some other interesting reviews. Nine plus... No. no, the no. kids are saying no. it's misunderstood. It's misunderstood, Mom. It doesn't have Fanti in it. If any people say five stars, there are kids that are lying. Look, I'm a teen, and I hope my opinion holds here, but hear me out. The app itself is like a gateway drug. I can guarantee if you let your kids play this app, they'll get curious and look it up on YouTube. Just a single search can come up with extremely disturbing results. There's... Looney, the creator of the app, is aware of this and continues to make items and clothes that could be used in a sexual purpose. Or sorry, propose it. Often people have said that gacha is a gateway drug for kids who are too afraid to watch porn, but find a gacha video on YouTube to fulfill that curiosity. It's actually disgusting what people make. Please, for the love of God, do not let your child play that game. What do parents say to get your life? Let's see what parents say to get your life. Others ruin this app. Too many sexual depressed undertones. Sexual depressed undertones. Too much gotcha heat. What is gotcha heat? I don't I don't wanna know. Cool. Hold on no. one second. Let's Does go! No, no, don't do this. No, guys. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no, it's corn. It's it's no. fucking gotcha like tell me, don't I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna think about it. Fuck TikTok and fuck its normies on the platform. Reddit is a superior website. <laughs> Redditors. 18 year old There's perspective just... of TikTok. Adult content beware. Hello. If you are a parent and you are reading this review, please take in a lot of consideration if you allow or see TikTok on your child's mobile device. There's been a spike of creeps and pedophiles on the app which I have heard accounts of them grooming children without their parent knowledge. Oh no. 
Uh, Molestor. 9 plus. A 16 plus rating is a joke. This app is amazing. I think that 9 year olds should be able to use it. Ooh, my 9 year old is using it very well. Although there are some swear words in song, it's okay because nowadays, four graders casually swear and it's fine. It just comes up in the song. Some TikTokers can be a little inappropriate, but there is no nudity or anything sexual. But just maybe a subtle joke where they may never see because of the whole wide variety. May the older creators know that there's a lot of viewers are young, so they are very careful. Oh, I love it when my daughter makes TikToks. Oh, no, no. FBI, so, so either this was written by some kind of pedophile who wants to lure, you know, parents. Who knows? This would, could actually just be a very, like, deluded mother. Yeah, also, she supports that vegan teacher making fun of people on the internet for not being vegan. Is this about vegan Obama? I stand corrected. That man is even better than vegan teacher, dare I say it. Alright. Alright, well. Thanks was, for watching. Yeah, thanks. This was some pretty entertaining shit. Cock and bowl torture. Goodbye. CV team is there. I've been Denshi. Goodbye.